something Could have seen it in your eyes Took a second, but I'm right here Waiting for you with open arms Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kristen for those who don't know me and thank you so much for the returnees and thank you for my uh, new subscribers, you are very much welcome to this channel. So today's video is all about laundry, a bit of house cleaning and cooking. So please join me in this video and uh, give this video a thumbs up. So today we are going to start with um, a laundry. You can see I have a lot of clothes here. I'm really lazy when it comes to laundry. I don't like doing laundry. So at times I just pile clothes, uh, then I wash them when they are when they they are just uh, uh, when there are many. So here are my clothes, mine and hubby's. I'm just going to wash them uh, as I clean the house. So I'll be multitasking, washing clothes in the kitchen and and uh, cleaning. So uh, join me in this. Give it, give this video a thumbs up and enjoy. So I'm, I've just sorted out the clothes and I've load, loaded my first laundry. I will leave it to wash as I head to the living room to organize it up and just do a little bit of cleaning but i'm falling again no don't hold back take it far promise you the same let the pleasure begin how about you come in closer we can do my place maybe we can try beating up by seven you'll be saying oh so it's good it's around 8 in the morning. The twins already woke up. My first daughter has gone to school. Uh, Habi has gone to work and I'm just alone with the twins. So they woke up and they switched on the TV and started watching. So I will wash them uh, later on after um, I've done washing uh, the house. Uh, after I've done washing the clothes, so I will wash them and then they will take their second breakfast. They have already taken tea that remained uh, yesterday night. So so here I'm just, I've just swept the carpet, organized the seats, and I'm now uh, mopping, uh, removing dust from the areas where we pass on most of the time. The house is not as dirty as uh, it seems. Uh, it is clean, actually. So these parts are cleaned uh, uh, frequently. Uh, yes, and uh, when we are doing thorough cleaning, it's when we move uh, the seats and the carpets. But today I'm just going to clean these parts that we uh, pass frequently. By this time I was I had finished up with the living room so the first laundry had finished and uh, it was time to remove it and uh, just uh, rinse it but I'm going to remove it and load my second uh, laundry then head on to the kitchen to do some cleaning in the kitchen I will do the rinsing later on you will see Had a feeling we had something your eyes Took a second but I'm right here Waiting for you with open arms How about you come in closer We can do my place Maybe we can try Meeting up by seven You'll be saying oh I so it's good so after loading the second laundry, I came to the kitchen and there were a few utensils here. I also needed to offload this rack uh, so that I can wash it and put new utensils there. So this is what I'm doing. I'm removing these utensils and just a few lids here that I feel that uh, my daughter didn't clean them as I would want to. So those are the ones I'm going to redo them. But the other utensils, I'm just going to store them. And uh, because they are dried and they are clean, so I will go ahead and wash these ones then I will uh, uh, I will put tea on fire uh, then head on to to continue with the laundry yes after I'm done with the kitchen I will go ahead and continue with laundry so here I'm washing this this dish rack I really don't like this dish rack I hate it yes but I haven't gotten enough cash to buy the dish rack the metallic dish rack that I want so for now I'll just continue using this one until I get cash to replace it don't hold back, take it far Promise you the same, let the pleasure begin How about you come in closer, we can do my play 
There's still a lot to be done, a uh, makeover to be done in this kitchen. As you can see, my window doesn't have a curtain. Uh, the landlord never installed curtain rods in any of uh, the kitchens in this building. So I think I will have to buy a curtain rod, install it, then I get a curtain. Even though the other side, there is a building there and no one can peep through the window, but I just feel that this window needs a curtain. So that is one of the things that I need to do in this kitchen then I also need to replace this dish rack. Let me know, do you have any item in your house that you don't really like it, that you really hate it when you look at it, but you you can't replace it now or you can't do away with it right now? Let me know in the comment section below. For me, this dish, dish rack is just a nuisance, but I, I can't replace it now until further notice. So those are the things I want to do here. I also need to upgrade on my uten on some of my utensils like uh, sufurias. Non I need nonsticks and I also need some spice jars and other things in this kitchen. But uh, we have to wait until I get Get cash for that. So I'm now through with cleaning the utensils, just wiping around, and now I'm mopping the floors. Then I will uh, put, I will start making tea when I'm done. I got nothing to I have decided to disarrange this uh, to uh, give it a new a new look. So this is the way I've arranged. I always love kitchens when they are L-shaped like. So I decided to put this fridge face the door and the cooker. But I, let me know if it looks good or not. If I should return it the way it was or if I, I should leave it like this. So my kitchen is now done and tea is cooking. So I'm now rinsing. Uh, actually, uh, this is the the second load is in the is in the washing machine. I'm rinsing the first load. Uh, I will start drying it up. Then uh, when I I remove the second load from the machine, of course it has already washed. I will put the third load as I rinse the second load. Then uh, we will be done washing.
So guys, I'm done with laundry and I'm just drying the machine. I normally wipe, wipe it dry before I return it to where we keep it uh, for use the next time. So here I've just dried it and returned it. Now it's time to mop this floor. Please don't mind my voice because I have a cold. So now it's time to mop the floors, uh, the corridor floors. I've already mopped the other rooms, the living room, the bedrooms, and the kitchen all are all are clean yes now it's time to mop this place that i've been using to uh, to wash and i will also wash this bathroom and not thorough cleaning it but just washing it to leave it clean and dry Normally, guys, I don't take breakfast before showering. So when I'm done with my chores, I go straight to shower. And here I've just showered, applying my uh, my oil, and uh, I'm now uh, clean and fresh. So back into the kitchen, I'm making some eggs, and it's almost lunchtime. Yeah, it's already twelve. Yes, so I'm giving my kids lunch. Um, they are having spaghetti, and I will give them with uh, some sausage and some eggs. So th that is what they will eat for lunch. Of course, that it is a leftover spaghetti. For me, I won't have lunch because I will just take breakfast and I will have some uh, smokies, an egg, and uh, and tea. <laughs> This was much, much, much later in the day after I had finished everything, relaxed a little bit and uh, just attended to, to some premieres of some of my uh, YouTuber friends. So this one, uh, I came here on top of the of the roof to uh, to to do what to unhang my clothes. Yes, they were already dry, so I wanted to unhang them and go start folding them. So here I'm just unhanging. I'm hanging the clothes, then I will go straight away, fold them, because I know if I keep them unfolded, they will stay there for several days, and I don't want a disorganized room or a disorganized uh, wardrobe. So I'm just going to unfold, to fold them and keep them, uh, and keep them uh, folded so that the house can remain clean and neat. So in the in the house, uh, the kids were just playing as they watch TV. Uh, they were keeping themselves busy while I was also keeping myself busy with laundry. So here is a heap of my clothes. In, believe me or not, some clothes are on the balcony, and mostly those are kids' clothes that are washed were washed yesterday night. Uh, so they are just uh, some of them are very heavy. They haven't dried uh, well. You know, there's no sunlight, so. Um, the the ones which, which I've dried plus my our clothes are just here. I'm trying to fold them. Uh, I hope I finish this uh, before before supper time because I want to go to the portion mill after finishing these clothes. Yes, I want to go to the portion mill. So let me just hurry up. <laughs> 
uh, then I will see you when I will be going to the portion mill. Finally, I'm done and I want to go to the portion mill. The reason why is because this maze has been staying in the house for a week now. And you know how flour has gone up. Even though we've been told that flour will go down to 100 Kenya shillings, but this maze is very important to me. I was given this by one of my YouTuber friends who is called Nyawera Vlogs. Kindly go to her channel, check her out. She does uh, vlogs on Kamkunji Halls and she's a very nice lady. She's a friend of mine. So go check her out. Out. she has two youtube channels another one is days of agi that has uh who that has lifestyle videos so on days of agi she does lifestyle videos on nyawera vlog she does kamkunji halls go check her out i will leave her link in the description box so here i'm in the portion mill with my daughter and when we are just trying to clean out the maze this is how it's done if you've never been there this is how we clean maze before it is uh, it is converted into flyers yes, we clean it here then we take it uh, then it is put in the in the portion mill. So this is the whole machine used to convert maize into flour. So on the other side, they pour maize to remove casks. And where the lady with the blue jacket is, is where they pour it to, to convert into flour. And the bucket down there is where flour comes f uh, out from the bigger um, uh, machine so that is where we use uh, this is how our maize is converted into flour so we are back home and this is our flour believe me this was nine kgs of flour and uh, we used 135 kenya shillings which is 1.35 dollars to convert the, the maize into flour which is a bit cheaper being that i was gifted this maize thank you so much nyawera vlogs for gifting me this flour and this will take us a long way a long way because i will mix it with a uh, packet flour when i go shopping so thank you so much for this gift i really appreciate so let's go ahead and prepare our supper together guys we getting crazy in a different room She likes the fact that I just let her know We getting crazy, we getting crazy in a different room We getting crazy in a different room Today's supper we are going to have uh, fish Which is uh, 
tilapia yes t this is tilapia fish this is not nile patch so we are going to have uh, tilapia fish uh, some kelps and ugali ugali from the maize that i took from the uh, i took to the millers yeah so i'm just cutting the uh, preparing the ingredients then we do the cooking is it okay if i'm to say i'm catching feelings from all the dealings am i stay what the on this one uh um, uh, Meko, we had put uh, some uh, uh, sufuria for kelps, and uh, on the other Meko, I'm just putting a sufuria for fish. So my daughter is helping me in the kitchen. She is going to start making kelps before she leaves to take a shower. Then I will continue from there. And in the blender, I'm just blending some mixture of tomatoes and hoho. Yeah, hoho is green pepper. So uh, in the sufuria, I'll just put uh, some onions and uh, oil and let the onions cook so here i'm just mixing the kelps and i will release my daughter to go take a shower because time is really running and she has to prepare for school tomorrow we're getting crazy in a different room she loves the fact that i just let her know My kelps are done and here I'm just preparing onions. So after onions, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour in the blended mixture of, of onions, no, blended mixture of tomatoes and um, tomatoes and pepper. Yes, that is what I'm going to pour in the in the cooked onions. Then I will put some little curry powder, little royco, and then I will put some salt and I will add the egg. Uno mix, yes, Uno, you can see it's a, it's a grounded brown nuts. It's sold in the supermarkets. You can go in the supermarkets, you'll find it. It's used to make stews and uh, you can put in veggies, you can put in uji, in whichever you like. So that is what I'm using to make today's uh, fish. Then I will add in some water and let the mixture boil a little bit. Then I will uh, insert the I will insert my fish pieces inside and just uh, when it starts simmering I will I will reduce the heat so that it can cook with steam yes I will reduce the heat to the lowest so that I can just let it uh, cook with steam that is how I'm making my fish today So as the fish is simmering on the other on the other meko on low heat, I'm just going to prepare this ugali. You can see the the flour is just very soft and it is it is very sticky. Uh, so this type of ugali, when you just cook a little bit of it, uh, you get satisfied uh, very much uh, compared to the other flour that we buy in packet in the supermarket in packets. Yeah, this is very strong ugali. Even though I milled grade one, but it is still okay and better than the the other ugali that we buy in the supermarkets. Is it okay if I'm the same? I'm catching feelings from all the dealings. Am I astray? What do you say? How are you feeling? Is it the same? I hope you're not planning to waste my time. Guys, my food is done and you should just come and have a taste of this. It is very, very yummy. The fish was fresh, direct from Lake Victoria. This was not fish that is bought in ponds and sold everywhere in the city. This is fish direct from the lake. So the fish was very yummy and we really enjoyed our meal And th uh, with this original ugali. It felt like we were just in the village having some nice food from the village. So this is very yummy. Thank you so much, guys, uh, for keeping in company as I eat this.
She likes the fact that I just let her know So this was after supper. I hadn't uh, I hadn't stored my clothes and I'm just here as uh, keeping my clothes in the closets very well arranging them. I really need extra hangers. I don't have hangers. So most of my dresses I fold them. I rarely put on trousers and other things. I do dresses mostly 99% of my clothes are dresses and the ones you see folded there are most of them are dresses actually 99.9% .9 of my dresses are of my clothes are dresses so these are is my closet and the other one is for hubby so i'm just trying to arrange them and thank you so much if you've watched till this far please if you haven't liked the video please like the video if you haven't subscribed subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss on any other good content like this thank you so much for my supporters for my premier gang and the rest i love you so much and i really appreciate the support you are go giving me i have really grown yes i have grown tremendously and we are still growing and this this all is because of you guys it's because of those who watch me those who subscribe to my channel imagine more than 60 percent who watch me haven't subscribed please subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell so thank you so much for your support and for watching this far see you in my next video and goodbye